What's going on, GTA players? Uh, I might have a little bit of an echo going on today. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad, but let's go into the discounts and the income and take a look at the discounts right off the top here. It's come down like just a hair, not too bad, it's still kind of high. And then the income has come down to kind of a average level here. Um, we'll draw a line across and you can see that's pretty much about where that yellow line usually is. Uh, we have some income incentives this week, but not it's not great. And the discounts you can see it's kind of it's kind of in the middle. I would say that's still on the high side because once like this, this is Black Friday. That's uh, you know pretty far up there, and it's been consolidating for a while now. And this was the same thing that happened last summer: is you get a big sale and then you get some smaller sales after that until it pretty much dries up until the next big event. And I think that's where we're at now. Uh, then as far as last week, uh, I said that we would get the CEO garages, offices and renovations, the cargo warehouses, as well as the two times money on the cargo sales. So a lot of that showed up. That's good. There are a few little changes to this that will happen. I'll go over the data for that later. And this is in the description, of course, as always. And new content, we have the weaponized dinghy. And then we still have the Varus on sale for free. And the S80RR, the GP1, the Furia, Zentorno, Adder. And then if you're a Twitch Prime member, you can still get the Sonar Station for free. And then as far as the deals, there's the Rocket Voltic and the Wagner. Then for your CEO offices, you're gonna go into the Dynasty 8 and you can see that all of these uh, Offices are 60% off. That one right there for 400,000 is a steal. This allows you to be a CEO, which gives you the special abilities. You can spawn a helicopter right by you. And they're um, very required for a lot of the things like having the submarine. Um, the interiors for these offices are also um, all discounted here as well. And then if we have a seat at the computer in the CEO office, you can then go look at the cargo warehouses. Now, usually not all of them are on sale, but you can get small, medium, and large ones on sale this week. So part of my planning for this is location, but then you also kind of want the large ones because they give you a better uh, rate of return. And this is a medium one, but I like that medium one because it's basically connected with all of uh, the main roads. And then the import export warehouses are also on sale. And this is another one that's kind of rare to have happen. Um, you can see they're kind of expensive, some of them. A million dollars is pretty cheap, but it's probably kind of difficult to get the cars in and out of there. I have this one just because it's connected to all the roads and it makes it easy to transport cars in and out of there because you're not having to deal with such cramped quarters when you're trying to not damage the cars that you're um, exporting or importing for that matter. Um, there is enough room there for a cargo bob too if you would just want to drop it in there. Um, but members party is free this week, but guess what? The second you go to pick it, then Rockstar is going to kick you out of the game. Maybe. <laughs> uh, and then we have the two times money on the DJ request missions. And then the podium card this week is the FMJ. And this is typically $1.75 million. It's pretty fast and it's actually fun to drive. So I definitely recommend getting it. Then if you're a new player and you need some money or you're just bored and want to go do something different, then go into the missions and you can do the contact missions. Those are two times money on some of those this week, as well as the stunt races. Uh, you actually have to go and scroll until you see where it says stunt. And then those ones are two times money. And then my favorite is the sumo. Uh, this is in adversary mode. And if you scroll, to where it says Sumo as well as Sumo Remix. These are all two times money. And I think some people hate these, but I think that these are probably the funnest mission in the game. Then our emerging trends that I will show for next week, we have the arcade. Now this was in 
um, inconsistent, like it was kind of starting to trend because you can see these are the big gaps here earlier last year, and then a small gap, and now we're kind of in a gap that's like right about the middle of all of those. So I think that's definitely possible for something to happen with the arcade. Um, then I would say the facility, if you look at earlier last year, the gaps are pretty close. Then there was a big gap, and then there was an even bigger gap, and then there was kind of a small one, and the gap that we're currently in is kind of middle grounds for all of that. So I think since we've seen all of these other discounts that these ones are probably trending now. Uh, the races for this week, we have the Vespucci Canals for the RC Bandito and then Down Chiliad for the land race. Um, we're going to start with the RC car race. Uh, basically what you're going to do on this one is you're going to go straight down the sidewalk and this can get a little tricky with the pedestrians there, but once you get up here, sharp turn left onto the bridge and then it's a straightaway. Um, I usually try to throw in a little bit of a hop over these bridges here because then you can land down the backside sometimes. Well, sometimes that happens too, but you can then go through this building area and then it's going to send you back down this road here and then that was a good example on that you kind of get a little touch on the top of it and keep the throttle pinned and it'll you know help you out um these big ones i don't always jump there because they can't quite clear over them and it messes you up even more um this area square up with the curb before you hit it and then go straight down this alley. This looks like it's gonna turn, but it's straight. It just goes straight for a while. And then once you get down to the end, it's gonna be another sharp turn right here, and then another sharp turn by the hedges, and then another sharp turn onto the bridge. Lots of these 90 degree angle kind of corners. Um, after that, straight stretch, jump over the bridge, and then go through this area very technical it's uh, lots of elevation changes there's roots and pedestrians sometimes it's very easy to get messed up through there so i usually try to go about 50 percent and just making sure that i'm exactly on the course that i need to be on and then you just get out onto the road it's going to be a nice little right turn into here and that will be it for a hundred thousand and then for the land race, the GPS point that you are going to is here at the very bottom of Mount Chiliad, and you start at the top and you do not follow the GPS whatsoever. Basically, you chase your bike down the hill for hours on end trying to catch up with it. Now, I'll post a video of this later if I can actually accomplish this. Um, I'm getting pretty close to it, but this is definitely the hardest one that there is because it's just endless versions of this. <laughs> so, I'll catch you next time, and good luck on that time trial.